Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to calculate spray foam insulation. Calculating spray foam insulation requires understanding the area to be insulated. Begin by measuring the dimensions of the space. Use a tape measure for accuracy. Next, determine the thickness of the foam you plan to apply. Spray foam insulation typically comes in various thicknesses. Common thicknesses range from one inch to several inches. Once you have the area and thickness, you can calculate the volume of foam needed. The formula for volume is length times width times height. This will give you the cubic footage required. It is essential to convert cubic feet to board feet if necessary. One board foot equals one square foot at one inch thick. Multiply the cubic footage by 12 to convert to board feet. Consider the type of spray foam you are using, as different types have varying coverage rates. Closed cell foam generally provides better insulation than open cell foam. Finally, factor in waste and overspray. It is prudent to add a percentage to your total calculation to account for these variables. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.